first. Okay. <laughs> what's going to happen in the second? I don't As even know what's happening in the first. My grandma would say I shudder to think. <laughs> but we do kick it off with a look ahead to next week, 10 days from right now, Thanksgiving, mm. of course. And according to AAA, nearly 80 million will travel at least 50 miles from home. And those travelers will include a lot of parents with a lot of little kids. Some parents, though, are saying, nope, not this year. If you want to spend the holidays with my kids, you can drive to us. A TikTok video is gaining a lot of traction online because so many millennial parents can relate. So here's mm. the gist. A husband and father tells his, quote, practically retired baby boomer parents that he will not be making the nearly 400-mile round-trip drive to their house this year with his three kids. He says, quote, I know you want us to drive down for the holidays, but it's kind of ridiculous that you want me to pack my three kids with their portable beds, with my clothes, their clothes, the formula, everything that goes on with raising three kids and having them feel comfortable, drive down for over four hours just so we can spend some time in your house, end quote. Whoa. He goes on to say his parents' house is not baby proof. And maybe what's resonating the most is that he points out his parents are still in good health. Why don't they come to his house? Well, that's a good point. You can't argue that point. No, and I think a lot of people feel this way, I'm sure. I don't know that you would ever put it into terms like that, though, yeah. when you, that, in the family, that seemed kind of cold. It feels abrasive. It yeah. does. And, and can we, we talk about this? Can we, yeah. About a phone call and say, you know, can we just yeah. step back a minute and think about the big picture here? And, and maybe they did. And, but, and maybe mom and dad don't just don't remember what it was like traveling with kids. And you have talked about how hard it was to go in between Florida and St. Louis to bring your crew here. You have to do it every time you go to St. Joe, yeah. and especially the younger they are. Are, it's really hard. You said round trip 400. Our round trip to home base is about 600. Mm -hmm. You know, it's 300 up, 300 back. We've done it multiple times with six kids. I don't, you know, every situation is different. In this case, he says his parents are in pretty good health. Maybe they can make the trip. At the same time, maybe there's a part of their mind that says, you know what, we did this. We kind of paid our dues. We made the traveling when we had young children. Now maybe it's our time to... Mm. But, but then again, but we're going to talk... Because... Well, we're going to talk more about this later in the show. Families used to be more of a collective and stay kind of clustered together. There wasn't that 400 right. or 500 mile mm -hmm. round right. trip. So, I don't know. But then again, <laughs> I don't mean to stretch this out, but I mean, when you're a family that doesn't live near your parents anymore it's usually because you've moved away not necessarily your parents right and it's like homecoming week and there's something about that for me in the holidays that was when we were in florida we felt like for the first few years anyway we felt like this christmas is not it's weird down here yeah you know we got to go home for right. christmas and thanksgiving and whatever nope. i don't think we've solved any problems no. but yeah.